All right, hey guys, it's been a while since we just done a laid back, easy, not heavily edited tutorial. Today we're gonna to be copying a save file from the PS1 version of Final Fantasy VII to the PC. So the requirements for this is you'll actually need to have a way to transfer your save files. Uh, if you've been playing on a PS3, it's super easy. There's a way to export your save files and then we can um, have it on a copy on the PC. Uh, if, you do, if you play on the original PS1 or PS2 and have it on your memory card, it's a little bit more tricky. So uh, what you can do if you have it on the original memory card is you can go out and buy a memory card adapter like one of these two. Alright, so you can buy one of these. They're kind of expensive now. There used to be some more third party options which were much cheaper, but I guess they've just dried up. Once you have the save file copy to your PS3, it's easy to transfer. Again, if you have a uh, hacked PS2, uh, there are programs out there that let you dump your memory card. But anyway, we're just going to be going about it this way. So let's go to... We're going to just assume you already have your save file on your PS3. So we're going to go to Memory Card Utility, find your virtual memory card, and then go to the save file that you want to transfer. Alright, so here's my 88 hours and 51 seconds save file, so, or the one I got farthest in. So just go ahead and click copy. Now you'll need a flash drive of some kind. Plug in any flash drive that's FAT32, so basically the normal formatting they use on flash drives, I think under 16 gigs or 16 gigs and below. And just go ahead and it should be detected. Press X and boom, your save file has been exported. Plug it into your PC. We're gonna use another program called PSV Exporter. Go ahead and open that up. Run it. And now we're gonna open up our PSV file. So you just go to your memory card, or sorry, your USB drive that we just pulled out of our PS3. Go to PS3, export, PSV, and here's our file. So, all right, once it's all loaded up, you can click File, and then click Extract PS1 Save, and that will give us a .mcs file. So, all right, let's just go ahead and put this, you can save this anywhere you want. I'm saving it in that same folder. Uh, let's call it FF7. Again, the name doesn't matter. All right, now it's in the same folder as our PSV. Let's go back there. All right, and as you can see on the PS3 export PSV where we saved it, we now have an MCS file. All right, now that we have our single save file right here, we're gonna make a memory card for it. So we're gonna use PSX Game Edit. And we're gonna just go ahead and, can we throw it in? Yep, okay. So we just drag and drop the MCS file, and now we've created a virtual memory card and it contains our save file that we just got from our PS4. So now what we're gonna do is go ahead and save this as a memory card. Uh, click the first option here, save memory card image. And let's just put it in the same folder. To get to the same folder faster, you can just double click up here and that gives you the full path. Highlight all of it, control C for copy, go over here, control V for paste. And now we're just gonna call it FF7 MC for a memory card. You can name it whatever you want. All right, now let's go back up to Black Chocobo, which is the save editor slash converter. And in Black Chocobo, we're gonna go ahead and click, I'll have a link to this below if I didn't say that already. We're gonna go ahead and click open, and now we can open up our memory card file. So again, uh, the easiest way to navigate to your folder is Control V, then it has the path, press enter, and here we go, Final Fantasy 7 underscore MC. We see our PSV here, but for some reason I'm not able to actually open this with um, Black Chocobo, so whatever. All right, now we can see our save slot. All we have is Final Fantasy 7, so let's go ahead and load this. All right, now you can see I have all these characters. If you want, this program supposedly can actually give you back uh, Eris slash Aerith, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now. All right, so once you have your save file all loaded up, we're just going to save it as a PSC save file. If you want, you can tweak your settings here. Like you see, we have Cloud, we have all its stats, Strength, Vitality, Tifa, all her stuff. See, here's where you can just select Aerith. If we want to have Aerith back in our party, but we're not going to do that. Um, yeah, this is Tifa. All right, so we're going to go ahead and export the save file. So we're going to say save as, sorry, your PC save files are stored in your documents folder inside a Square Enix folder inside Steam. So what you can do is you go to Documents and then find a Square Enix folder. Then from there, click on Final Fantasy Seven. And then from there, click on User underscore and then your user number. And there's your save files. This is where your save files will be. You'll probably have to run the game at least once. So what we're gonna do 
double click up here, get a path, copy. Um, one interesting thing I think we might be able to do is we might be able to import our achievements. So let's go ahead and try to do that while we're here. This is an optional step. Go to more options, path for Final Fantasy VII saves, let's fill that in. I don't know where the... Oh yeah, there's, there's also an option for New Game Plus, which resets your uh, save file, but gives you all your stuff. You get to keep a bunch of stuff, so it's like starting the game over again. Uh, that's great if you're trying a, a higher difficulty run. That would be helpful. So now we just go back to that same folder. Uh, it's not showing, so just type in a star. Load up achievements.dat. And here is where you can actually add all the achievements that you have accomplished. As you can see, I beat part one, beat that, I beat the game. I don't have all the materia, I don't have all the money. Top level, don't have that, don't have Omni Slash, don't have Knights of the Round, whatever. All right, now go ahead and click save. All right, so now that we have our achievements, let's go ahead and save our save file. So, again, paste in the path, press enter. And here is where we pick save type, and we're saving it as a PC file. Uh, top option. And as you see here, we have save 04 Final Fantasy VII. Um, we want to make it a different number that we don't already have, so I'm just going to copy this name and change it to 5. Or wait, we have it here. Okay. So once you click on it, it will fill it in down here. Let's change this to 5. All right. And it should have exported. All right, now we have another save file. It's called save five. We have another file size. Again, you can make this whatever number you want. I think up to nine, but um, yeah, it doesn't really matter. As long as it's different than a save file you've created before. Again, if I didn't say this before, before you start this process, it's probably best at least have one save file on Final Fantasy VII for the PC before you do any of this. I would suggest that. So let's go ahead and start the game. All right, we got Final Fantasy VII. All right, so you press X, even if you're using a controller. Let's go to continue. Save six. Here we go. All right, here's the save file we just loaded. And here's exactly where I was on my PS1. That's pretty cool. All right. And you can see I have all my items still. All right, and the last thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you the, the, all the achievements unlocked. So now we have pretty much the exact same progression on PC. So let's go ahead and close this. There we go. And here we go. We have end of part one, end of part two, end of game, catastrophe, get his limit break, get gospel. As you can see, we now are officially synchronized. So if you wanted to do a new game plus, remember there's the option for that. If you just want to play some post game mods, like I think the, um, uh, was it new threat is a mod I'm going to try out. So I hope this video helped you guys out. Bye.